guys just another video update on what I hope to be is the final form of this build um, I have my GTX 1080 already installed into the computer and I also picked up a 650 watt power supply it's a Rosewell Hive just to power that GTX 1080 because I had a problem with my initial power supply which is down here it's a 500 watt and I had some pretty bad coil wine when trying to power my GTX 1070 over here. Right here. Um, so I got the 1080 installed into the computer. It's a uh, Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080 with the uh, 3 fan Windforce cooler. And I picked this thing up for around 460 bucks. It was on sale on Newegg, so I figured cheapest 1080. That I could find might as well pick it up right um fortunately let me move this box out of the way the graphics card itself does not offer any LEDs but I guess that's the price you pay for getting a cheap GTX 1080 which I don't mind because it's a sleek minimalistic looking graphics card in there nothing too fancy but as long as it performs that's my goal right so I'll do some quick video benchmarks here on this build or at least on the GTX 1080 because you guys have already seen the CPU benchmarks um, I'll start off with Time Spy, the DirectX 12 I'm, a, I'm just gonna skip through this really quick I'll show you the final scores when we get back okay so we are back and I moved the boxes out of the way um, let's see our final 3D Mark Time Spy score is 7,692 with a graphics score of 7,846 and CPU score is 6,926 to of course a GTX 1080 now I do have the 1080 overclocked with I believe a 157 megahertz offset I think let me see oh 160 and then the memory clock at 155 uh, as you can see, after that GPU, that GPU test, it sells down at like 37 degrees Celsius. It's a very good cooler. You sacrifice some uh, gimmicks in the RGB, some build quality, to get a very good cooler on this GTX 1080. So let's get that out of the way. Um, so yeah, that's my final score. Let's go to how this compares. Now this is pretty good 89% of all resort about uh, resorts results um, GTX 1080 yeah right here uh, risen 7 1700 GTX 1080 B 350m gaming pro from MSI and it's ranked higher than a uh, 4k gaming PC which is pretty cool so yeah that's the 3d mark time spy score now let's go on to the fire strike score here All right so the fire strike benchmark just finished and we got a score of 16,660 the graphics score of 22,651 physics score of 17,863 and a combined score of 5,401 now that's with the gigabyte wind force gtx 1080 and let's see how well we did compared to everyone else. Better than 94% of all results. I like that. Not quite a 4K gaming PC, but I don't plan on buying a 4K monitor anyways. But pretty high score. Pretty good card. Um, now, would I say it's worth upgrading from a GTX 1070 to this... Uh, GTX 1080? No, probably not, because that wasn't much of a difference between the score that I got from this card versus this 1070. Um, it, it'll still run games pretty much almost the same FPS, especially at 1080p, but I just wanted to get a 1080 so I could get a better future-proof system in here. Um, paired it up with a 650 watt power supply because that's 
what NVIDIA recommended, so I went ahead and picked one of those up. Plus, I was going to replace my 500 watt anyways. That coil line, I wish I, I wish I recorded a video of it, but it was so annoying. Um, I've already got a buyer lined up for this, for my old GTX 1070. A friend of mine is buying it for his system, and he's planning on SLIing two of these cards right here. This is a very nice looking card too. And look at that build quality, it's all stainless steel with some plastic. But hey, it's got white LEDs and all that. Mine doesn't even have any LEDs. But hey, it's 1080 though. Um, so I'll wrap up this video of these benchmarks and we'll see what I we'll see what else I'll do to this thing. I'm not really sure what to do now. Maybe add an SSD, I don't know, RGB RAM, LED light strips, who knows, but we'll find out. I'll see you guys later.